So that intro clip made absolutely no sense to anybody but me. Let me fill you in. The title of my thesis was called Launch Day. It was all about interplanetary space travel and it was filled with a lot of errors. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. So I picked up my thesis the other day and quickly read through it and I thought, I've learned a lot since I submitted this project and I wish I knew these things when I was actually at university. So I thought I'd create this video today to help you guys not make the same mistakes I did. So launch day in itself as a thesis started very simply. It started by going through the generic requirements of a thesis submission. Now this is where it gets really bad and I think I didn't articulate it properly. I went through, broke it down, how I designed it, how I got to there, how the materials work, and yes, that it does work in this situation. But then I started showing 3D renders of the final product that made absolutely no sense. First of all, the first render is a 3D cross section of the entry statement, which houses the first shuttle ever launched into space as a museum masterpiece. But the whole idea is to wrap around and meander all the way up, which doesn't comply with any of the Australian building standards. It is a very long meandering ramp that would take you forever as a journey nobody would actually appreciate it and you'd just be looking at the one space shuttle over and over again as you went up those three levels. But then I didn't explain why that section looked like that, why it wasn't a different shape, why there was fins hugging and wrapping the sides of it and then turned into what now looks like a motorcycle helmet. God knows what it actually was meant to be. Um, so there was a lot of elements that truly were missed there from a constructability point of view and it was just a pretty image. The one good thing I did was do an exploded axiometric and then also showcased the levels and the schedule of works throughout this building. But I never went through and broke down those floor plans individually. I had this huge building that had so much space, so much potential, but yet I never showcased any of it. I think I must have started running out of time or something because looking back on it now, I could have designed this incredible museum that had all these historical elements and a hotel that was luxurious and had gardens and everything and there could have been some amazing documentation here but as a student i guess i was very limited in time i was very limited in ability i was limited in knowledge so looking back and not taking that opportunity to actually create makes me quite sad after explaining those areas very quickly i went to a quick floor section 3D looking thing of how that museum worked, which again makes absolutely no sense because it was just non-compliant, non-functional and just dumb. Now, looking back at it, I'm allowed to say it because it's mine. And then I ended the project pretty quickly by showing a picture of Launch Tower 1 again, which didn't symbolize anything. I don't think I talked it through enough. I didn't explain nearly enough. So there was no explanation of why the building wrapped and meandered down to the ground, why that helmet wrapped and meandered back down to the ground, why it was hugging the rocket. I don't think I explained that critically anywhere and there were so many elements of how I could explain that. Again, I think it was limited time, limited knowledge, but looking back it would have been good just to decipher this picture better and actually annotate it some more and give some more context because at the moment it's just a pretty picture and it doesn't tell me anything. The next image is a bit better, it breaks down kind of the structure and what's around but looking at it again it isn't actually feasible. You have people running around a rocket which is usually a highly classified area, kids running around on the lawn next to some very sharp very expensive objects, trees everywhere which would have burnt in an instant yeah, I didn't, didn't think that render through at all. That was just bad. <laughs> the only thing that I did really, really well was the emotive journey at the end and showcasing the astronauts leaving Earth into the travel pod. And it was articulating that through an aperture, slowly closing and disappearing Earth and only leaving the astronauts in their own environment. So as that aperture closed, more and more astronauts came in and it became darker and darker. I think I articulated that scene well as what I wanted to actually showcase the emotion of the journey and those three pictures are probably all I did really well throughout this thesis. 
So looking back on that, that was a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Um, I think that there is a lot to learn from looking back at your own work. So if you're in third or fourth year, for example, go back and look at your first year's worth of work and go, wow, I've progressed so much. I missed this, I missed that, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. And remember those elements that you forgot and do them in your next project because there's a good chance you aren't still doing them now. You might know the information, but you're not doing it. So all the mistakes that I've made in this thesis project could have very simply been avoided if I just asked more questions, did more research, did more work. And I think not going back and just reviewing and reflecting and stepping away for a minute and going, that doesn't make sense. Why did I do that? Why didn't I do this? It really let me down in the long run. So if you are submitting your thesis and submitting your final project, it is a long haul. It is 12 months worth of hard work, but at the end of the day, it is something that is very rewarding. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot longer than usual, but it is what it is. If you enjoy that sort of content and want to see more architecture-related videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And as always, I will see you very shortly.